everybody. Welcome back and welcome to our full moon yoga practice for the month of August. Um, I'm excited to be here with you. My name is Dave Vinder. I'm the owner and director of Pranashanti Yoga Center. And I'm happy to be able to share this practice with you in conjunction with the City of Ottawa as part of our virtual offering of the full moon classes. Typically, we would have been outside enjoying, enjoying this time together uh, on the lawn, but here we are virtually for our practice instead. Still equally as fun and equally as powerful. So let's come to sit together in a comfortable posture of your choice. I'm sitting in easy pose, Sukhasana, but feel free to sit in any posture that works well for you. To start with, we'll bring the palms of our hands together at our heart center. This is called Anjali Mudra. And when you do this, you place the palms together with some firmness so that you're creating a balancing effect at the heart. And then let the thumbs touch into your body. From here, we'll close our eyes or soften our gaze. Let your shoulders relax down. See if you can lengthen your spine a little bit to help keep the channels open through the, through the body. Take a few long, slow, deep breaths. Soften through your face. Soften through your belly. To start our practice, we'll chant the sound of OM, O-M, or sometimes spelled A-U-M, Oh, we'll chant it together one time. It means universe or unity or togetherness. Let's inhale deeply and exhale. And then inhale to chant. Oh. few months, you'll know that with the full moon, something that happens is that we start to feel that there's a polarity or um, an, a balance of opposites that takes place during the time of the full moon. And so when we look at the full moon from an astrological point of view, we see that the moon is in the sign um, of Aquarius, the astrological sign of Aquarius, and opposite that we have the sun, which is in the sign of Leo. So as we go through the next, I don't know, 10 days or so, you may notice some of the uh, sensitivities or the qualities of those two signs opposite each other over the coming days. And so Aquarius is typically um, a sign that we associate with uh, independence, um, equality, open-mindedness, being all part of the team. Aquarians like to be part of a team. <laughs> and then on the opposite side, we have Leo, which doesn't mean to say Leo doesn't want to be part of the team, but they like it when there's more than just the team. So this is a pull that we have, you know, being a team player and also wanting to be more than just a team player. So that's a pull that we may feel over the, the coming 10 days. Um, Leo is also quite individualistic as well, so where Aquarius is a sign that represents more of the collective. So we may have these moments for ourselves in the coming days where it's like, no, I'd rather be by myself, or no, I'd rather be with people. So we might get those kinds of pulls. So it's just interesting to think about those two signs and then notice what happens for you in how you feel or what's going on in your life at that time. So. Today we're going to do a practice that is quite balancing, uh, balancing left and right sides of the body to balance the sun and the lunar sides of our bodies, 
and then we'll finish off with a little breath meditation as well. So let's start off. Stretch out your legs to the front and shake it out a little bit. And we'll come into the first of our practice postures. We'll begin by keeping the left leg extended and tucking the right foot to the inside of the left leg. This is Janusarasana. And then inhale, draw your arms up overhead, reach up tall. Exhale, turn to your outstretched leg, forward and down. And then inhale, come back up again, lengthen. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, draw up. Reach tall. This time we're going to stay down. Exhale, holding onto your foot, your ankle. You can also place the hands either side on the ground. Close your eyes or soften your gaze. And take a few long, slow, deep breaths. If you want to deepen the stretch, point your toes up. Great, let's start to come out of the posture. Reach out with your arms and hands. Inhale, come all the way up to the top. And then exhale, sweep your arms out to the side and down. Let's switch over to the other side. So extend the right leg out. Have the toes pointing up again if you want to deepen the stretch. Tuck the left foot in. Inhale, bring the arms up. Reach up tall. Exhale, fold. And we're going to do this a couple of times, inhaling up, exhale down, one more, inhale up, this time staying down, so holding on to the foot or the ankle or shin or the hands on the floor, soften your gaze, let your body sink down, feel the stretch through the hamstrings a little bit into the calf as well. Couple more deep breaths. We'll start to come out of the posture now. Reach out with your arms. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, sweep the arms down to your side. Good. Let's come back into a seated posture, easy pose. We'll do some side bends. So bring one hand down to the floor beside you. And then inhale, draw the other arm up and over. Exhale into an arch. Inhale, come back up. Switch hands, bring the other one up. Exhale, arch over. Feel a nice opening to the side of your body. Go one more on each side. So inhaling up. Exhale, reach over. Inhale, back up. Last side. Exhale, arch over. Finishing off now, both arms come up. Inhale, reach up tall, and then exhale, sweep out to the side and down. Good. Bring your hands to your knees. Roll your shoulders back a few times. Let the shoulders come down. And then let's do a little, little work for the head and neck and shoulders. Bring your chin down towards your chest. We'll circle our head. And be mindful. Bring one ear to the side. Go around the back. Over to the other side. Down across the front. You know, and if you feel a little tight area, maybe you might want to stop there and go back and forth over it. You know, we have all kinds of little <laughs> little areas of tightness, little knots in our neck and shoulders, especially if you've been doing lots of computer stuff or social media or all those kinds of things these days. Let's go back the other way now. So make a little pause, circle the other way. We're all a little bit more onto laptops and computers and different devices these days to stay Connect it. Maybe you can loosen up that area a bit as you go. Good. And let's finish off now. Inhale, bring your head back up to align with your spine. Take a deep breath in. 
and exhale. All right, let's stretch out our legs again, shake it out a little bit. And we'll bring the heels around to the side. And this time we'll come up onto our hands and knees into table pose. We'll do some cat cow, which is an excellent posture for working the spine. So spread the fingers wide, hands roughly underneath your shoulders, knees apart, tops of the feet on the ground. And then inhale, sway your belly down, lift your head up, that's cow. And then exhale, arch the spine, let the head hang down, that's cow. So inhale, belly comes down, head goes up. And then exhale, arch your spine. Let's go back and forth with that few times. You go at your own pace with this. See what feels like the right speed for you to go. You can go faster or slower than me. Notice your spine. Notice where you feel the movement most in your back. And then we're going to inhale deeply, come into cow pose, so that's belly towards the ground, head up. Open your eyes, look up. Let's give the eyes a little stretch at the same time. And then exhale, arch the spine, let the head hang down. Push up through your hands, push the hands into the ground. And then inhale to a flat back. Sit back onto your heels for a moment. Let's do a baby stretch or a puppy stretch. So arms out in front, forehead down. You can open the knees wider if you like. And then starting to come out of the posture, walk your hands inwards. And then tuck your toes under. We're going to come up to standing. We'll come to stand towards the front of our space. These are some moon salutations. I learned these a long time ago, but it's a wonderful practice to do for the full moon. So bring the palms together at your heart center. And then inhale, draw the arms up. You can add a back bend here. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale down, and then inhale, step the right leg back, drop the knee, inhale, come up, exhale, little arch, bring the hands back down, curl the toes under, step the other leg back into a downward facing dog. Lower the knees, come back onto the heels into a child's pose. Inhale, rise up onto your knees. Add a little back bend. Exhale, come back down into child pose. Okay. Inhale, back up onto hands and knees. And step the left foot forward, back into that lunge type position. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, down. Curl the toes. Inhale, back into downward dog. Then look between your hands, step, walk, or jump your feet up as you like. Inhale, come all the way back up, arch. Let's do the other side, exhale down. Inhale, halfway, exhale down. Step the left leg back, drop the knee. Inhale up, exhale down. Curl the toes, step the right leg back, Downward dog. Exhale to table. Now to child. Inhale up onto the knees. Little back bend. Exhale down. Back into child. Inhale coming back up. Step the right leg back. Come into that lunge again. Exhale down. Curl the toes into downward dog. Look between your hands. Walk, step, or jump your feet up. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, hands to the heart. 
Take a moment to stand in mountain pose. Separate your feet. Relax your arms down by your side. Turn your palms facing forward. Lengthen tall through your spine. Relax your shoulders. Feel grounded through your feet. Feel centered in your body. Take a few more full deep breaths. Inhale deeply, and exhale. Relax your arms. Let's come back down to our space. We'll come to lie down onto our, onto our mat or onto our space. Come all the way down. Draw both knees in as you come down. Rock a little side to side. And then keep your right knee tucked in. Extend your left leg out to the floor. Give yourself a little knee hug on one side. Squeeze in. Using your right hand on your right leg, open the right hip up. And then inhale, bring your right knee back up. Switch hands, use your left hand to help guide your right leg across your body. Then extend the right arm out behind you. Turn your head to look over your right shoulder into knee down twist. Take a few deep breaths here. Start to come out of the posture now. So inhaling as you come back up with the knee. Draw the knee back in again. Give it a little squeeze. Just like we did at the beginning of this one. And then release your right knee down to the floor. Shift a little bit. If you found you moved around on the mat, sometimes you go a little bit further over to one side and you don't realize it. Take your arms up to the side, palms up. Let the legs extend. Just sense your body here for a moment before we move to the other side. Let's draw the left knee in now. Of course, you can hold on on the front like we did on the first side, or you can hold behind at the thigh, back of the thigh. Start with a little squeeze in. And then we'll use our left hand to support the leg, so opening up the left hip flexor this time. And then inhale, draw the knee back up. As your knee comes back up, switch hands. Use the right hand. Guide over, now rolling up a bit onto your right hip. Extend the left arm out behind you and turn to look towards your left hand. Knee down twist, which is a great posture to relieve lower back tension and tightness. Couple more deep breaths here. See if you can breathe really deep with this one. And then inhale, start to roll out of the posture, bringing the left knee back up. Catch hold again in the front of the leg or behind the back of the leg. Squeeze in one last time. And then we'll Exhale, release the hands, extend the leg out to the floor, arms turning out to the side, palms facing up so your hands are open to receive, legs extended out, let the feet fall out to the side, we'll come into a short relaxation now, Shavasana. If that's a little tender for your lower back, bend your knees, 
Put your feet on the floor and then let the knees touch in together at the top to support your hips and pelvis. Close your eyes, soften the gaze. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And sigh it out through your mouth. And again, deep breath in through your nose. And sigh it out through your mouth. Let your body start to relax into this time. It's some wonderful postures to create balance in our body. And now we'll let that take its effect in our physical body while we relax. start to come out of our relaxation now so starting to move a little through the fingers wiggle a little through the toes you may also like to rock your head a little side to side very gently releasing yourself from this relaxation roll your hands around your wrists you can also roll your feet around your ankles. And then take a deep inhale and stretch your arms way up above your head, reach up tall. And then exhale, bring the arms down. As you're lying on your back, you may like to bring the knees in. Give them a knee hug, both knees at the same time. Rock a little side to side. And then from here, rock over onto one side and then start to lift yourself back up to come back up into a seated posture. Take your time. When you're all the way back up again, come to sit for a little meditation. You can sit in easy pose like I am. You can also sit on a cushion or blanket or something if you've got something nearby for you to sit on. Keep yourself feeling comfortable. Sometimes when we sit, and especially if we're sitting on the floor and our hips have a little tightness to them, it makes it challenging to sit in easy pose. So if you lift up a little bit, it will help the hips to feel more relaxed. So for this meditation, we'll bring the left hand to the center of the chest and the right hand onto the belly. And then we'll soften our gaze or close our eyes. Again, roll your shoulders back, try to lengthen up through your spine. You may inhale deeply through the nose. Pause for two or three seconds at the top of your breath, and then slowly exhale through your mouth. And then deep breath in again through your nose. A little pause here, three or four seconds, not too long. And then a slow exhale through your mouth. Take your time with the breath. See if you can make your inhale very long and slow. And the same with your exhale. See if you can really slow it down. So it's about the same amount of time as the inhale. You go at your own pace. This is a very good meditation for reducing anxiety. It's very calming and nurturing. Feel your hand connected to the heart. Sometimes you can feel the heartbeat.
meditation, this breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. Pause for a moment here. Hand connected to the heart for compassion. Hand connected to the belly for stability. And slowly exhale through your mouth. And let your hands relax down onto your legs. Take a couple of really natural, slow, deep breaths now. Just noticing how you're feeling. Are you feeling your physical body? How you feel mentally and emotionally. And then we'll bring the palms back together again at the heart center. Back into Anjali Mudra like we did at the very beginning of our practice. We'll close out our practice today for this full moon by chanting the sound of Om. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale to chant. Thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful full moon celebration.